Howdy folks, and welcome to another Greenside Project video. Today we're going to continue looking at uses for Lamian Medium, and today in particular we're going to be using Lamian Medium to apply different weathering pigments to a model tank. Why do we use pigments? Well, when we're weathering miniatures, when we're weathering models, we can use paints uh, like the acrylic paints we normally use to paint miniatures to add weathering effects, to add damage. But by using pigments, we can get a coarser effect and a slightly more realistic effect. And at the moment, there's an awful lot of very successful people on YouTube and successful modellers that use pigments to really make their models look realistic. It's a very sort of in thing to do. And uh, it's a bit different using the pigment to how I learnt to use pigments originally. Originally, you were supposed to get either white spirit or an alcohol-based solvent, mix that with your pigment, and apply it to your mini now. As many of you will probably already know, both those solutions are quite, or could be quite corrosive to acrylic paints, so before applying your pigment, you need to go and you varnish your model. Now, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but it's a bit time consuming, and as someone that only recently got an airbrush, I like to apply varnish using an aerosol spray, that meant I had to wait for good weather, I live in England, it's not always good weather, you know, it's quite time consuming. This way, using Lamian Medium, Lamian Medium is quite easily accessible. It's a nice chemical to use because it's not really a chemical, it's very non-toxic, it's very safe. You don't have to worry about varnishing your mini before. You know, there's lots of advantages to doing this. Now, I'm going to be using Vallejo pigments, and the reason I'm going to be using those pigments in particular is because those are the ones I happened to buy. Because when I wanted to buy some pigments a while ago, those are the ones in the shop I went to. I've used them a few times, they're well recommended. I've heard great things about Forge World pigments, though I believe they're probably slightly more expensive. I know there's other companies that do pigments. I've just happened to go with Vallejo and I've got no complaints there. I didn't just buy these two together, I actually bought a box of four, which was this box here, which was there. Let's have a seat. They're set number three, they're stone and cement city look. And right, let's get going. First thing I want to remind you all, we're going to be using a really naff old brush for this, and we're also going to be using a dropper or pipette. The reason we're using the naff old brush is because that, well, if we use a nice sable brush, that will just go horribly for the brush. It will absolutely destroy it. We don't want that. The reason we're using our pipette is because we don't want to infect our Lamian medium with different colours or bits of pigment that mean we can't use it to mix with other paints. So we'll also need, and this has just occurred to me, so bear with me one second, an old, here we go, an old paint palette. Here we can see an old bit of a blister I used that we don't mind getting some powder in. So we've got our pigment in here, which we can see is just dust. I'm going to pick some up on my brush and just pop it down on my palette, right about there. There we go. Now, be very careful as you do this not to sneeze. Always pop your lid on back on the pigment as quickly as possible, so you spill it over your workspace. These bottles are quite good because they do have sort of a child safe caps on, which encourage safety. Now I've got our pigment down there, and then I'm going to open up my Lamin after giving it a bit of a shake. Drop her in. Did I pick any up there? Let's see, I'm going to put... No. Being a bit too timid there, I'm going to get a bit more in. I'm just at first going to put a small... Well, take number three. That's better. Now I'm going to put a small drop in. There we go. I put a small drop of Lamian Medium in, and now I'm going to really mix it up. Now that's getting nice and pasty. I think we just need a little bit more medium. Lovely. Right, now I've got my tank. And because this is sort of the brown muddy look, I'm going to apply this just on the tracks and the bits where I think the tank's likely to have come across. Brown muds are just here. And I'm just going to dab it on. And if I do get a bit to 
pretty much on. I can just see my finger to wipe it away. Remembering, of course, to use my uh, good old sink and soap to wash my hands before eating anything or uh, hugging any loved ones. So now I'm just dabbing it on. Bit on the tracks. Lovely. And personally, I find you don't have to be, you don't have to worry about being too precise with this because it's the pigment. It will only go on to raised areas anyway. It's a bit like sort of a modified form of airbrushing, I suppose. Now, I can continue this in my own time because next I'd like to show you some of the uh, black pigment and the effect that has. And I found that the black or Vallejo actually call this smoke black is very good for adding, not surprisingly, smoky textures and looks. So again, I'm going to open up my uh, black pigment. I'm going to wash my brush in some water. Now, I am going to make sure that I change this water out before doing anything else with it, like using just regular GW paints, because I want them to be gritty. I'm going to get some of this lovely black pigment out. Put it down there. What's the first thing we do after getting out? We put the lid back on so we don't spill it everywhere. And now it's time for some more Lamy and Medium. I'm going to give it a good wash in the mix. Excellent. And now I'm just going to apply it to areas of the minute that I think smoke and tar will brush off. And if there's a bit too much, I'm just going to use my finger and brush it away a bit. Lovely, and I think we need some there for whatever mystery bits these are. Now I've already put some blasts there. So Lovely. And what will happen is, as the medium dries, it should fix on the pigment to the mini. Bit more there. Lovely. And actually, I've got a bit of a uh, what looks like an oil spill on the top of this barrel, so I'm going to add some pigment there. Right. Well. Uh, that's this video done, done guys. Uh, in the next Larmin Medium video I'll be picking, pick, putting up, and this will be in a little bit, I'll be showing how we can use it to get transfers looking good on our minis. So, take care all of you and bye.